All right, we're off to take out Tommy Marcano. <clears throat> and then we got one district left after this. Fuck that, my music. Whoops! <laughs> that guy went flip mode. You gotta be careful when you're going flip mode. drive-in yeah exactly it's a drive-in exactly hey there precious okay Tommy Marcano brought in a counterfeiter from Cuba right well, Sal spent a couple of months trying to print the money himself but none of it was worth a damn the color was wrong printing was cockeyed you name it he needed someone who knew what the fuck they were doing so he used his connections and found a man named Alvarez and this Alvarez was also counterfeiting money for Castro most of our enemies counterfeit American money. Hell, some of our allies do too. Sorry, he's gone. What do you mean, he's gone? All you had to do is drive down to the goddamn lighthouse and pick him up. It's not my fault Alvarez is running all over the goddamn place. I wanted to lock his ass up, but you wouldn't hear of it. The last thing we need is Zaraga finding out that we treated his nephew like dog shit. You understand? Then Lincoln Clay comes in shooting the shit out of it. Lincoln Clay. Lincoln Clay! I'm so sick and fucking tired of hearing about this cocksucker. He's just one man. A fucking nigga. We're skating a thin line here, Tommy. You understand? This thing falls apart. We fucked all of us. So, what the fuck would you do? What the fuck would I do? Listen here. This ain't rocket science. If that fucking nigga got to Alvarez, it means he knows about the play. He's gonna come after him. You understand? Get your ass down to that motherfucking gym and protect them. Yeah. Sure. I'm on it. This shit ends right here, right now. No more fuck ups. <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> According to these reports, Tommy Marcano had the money press in a boxing gym he operated. Tommy knew Lincoln was coming for the plates, but he felt he had to keep up appearances. The second he started canceling fights and shutting the place down was the second people started thinking he was out of his league. He wasn't about to allow that to happen. How did Lincoln Clay gain access to the gym? He had me track down a man named Alcy Bennett. Alcy was a small-time hustler that worked for Sammy until he double-crossed him and was kicked out of the hollow. After that, he scratched out a living recruiting fighters for Tommy's jungle fights. If he vouched for Lincoln at the door, Lincoln could get in without a big ruckus. Alcy's by the briar patch, not far from here. I'll stop by and say hello, see how he's getting along. <laughs> Have fun. Okay. Burn like napalm. So this sounds like it'll be a fun story mission. This is going to be one of the big ones. We're trying to take out one of the Marcano family. So it's going to be one of the big boss fights. There are reports that a fierce gun battle took place earlier today at the Anderson Bay Lighthouse in the Bayou. Witnesses report extended gunfire and police are investigating casualties. Police have announced that an investigation is underway. I'll see Benny. Woo! Look at the speed! I need for fucking speed! I need for speed! I need for speed! I missed the turn! Oh shit! Oh my god, look at that! 
Now that was worth it. That was totally worth missing the turn to see that happen. Holy fucking shit, dick. Titty twister. Ultimate fucking gravity defying nonsense. That was so ridiculously sick. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. That was fucking epic. That's one for the highlight reel right there, baby. Look at this little hole in the wall diner. Possibly. Are you? Are you Elsie Bennett? You? This little old lady. Oh, it's this guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck me running. If it ain't Lincoln Clay. Surprised to see me, Elsie? Mm. I heard about Sammy and Ellis. Tough break. I guess you made it out okay. Speak of them once more, and I'll slice you from here to asshole. Ooh. Let's go. I'm taking a drive. Assuming I don't have a choice here. What do you think? Lead the way. <laughs> yeah, this guy's already a double crosser. Can you really trust him, you know? Go to the Acadia. I don't know who's you're driving this car, I just flipped. <laughs> No, I guess we're going. Come on, asshole. The fuck in, bitch. You know I stayed away. I ain't stepped foot in the high note since November of 62. Almost six years. I know. There's a Can time limit again. Where we're going? The Acadia. It's where Tommy Marcano holds his jungle fights, right? It is. And you've been recruiting black fighters for him. I have. Good. Because I want in. What? Oh shit! Why? He's gonna fight? I wanted you to know I'd have told you. If I'm sticking my ass out like that, I need to know why. Motherfucker, you lucky to be alive after what you did to Sammy. You really think you wouldn't notice you stealing all that money? Look, I paid for that a hundred times over. Six years banished from the only place I ever call home. Christ. I couldn't even go see my mama on her deathbed. You made your choice. And now it's time to make another one. And I do this. You get a clean slate. Come and go through the hollow as you please. Fuck. Okay. I hear if you win out, Tommy meets you in person. That true? He likes the size of the winners. See if there's someone he wants to bring on regular. Or if they're just a one-time deal. Where's this happen? Usually up there in his office. One of his guys will meet you in the locker room after the fight. He'll take you to town. All right. Fighters don't take the front entrance. Ah. We go in through the side door. This is interesting, though, because Link is going to pose as a fighter, right? Hoping to win the fight so he can have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with uh, Tommy. But wouldn't Tommy know what the fuck he looks like if everyone in the city is after fucking Lincoln, right? To stop him from doing all this shit. How the fuck would they not know who, what he looks like? <laughs> Hold up, Alcy. Who the fuck's this? This? This is Jack Nav Johnson. What's he here for? Fuck you mean, what he here for? We here to fight, boy. Gotta search him. No weapons allowed. All right. Do what you gotta do. Watch where you put your hands, motherfucker. Save it for the ring, dipshit. Oh, uh, where'd my handgun and giant assault rifle go? Go ahead. <laughs> and now I just start killing them left and right. Okay, probably a bad idea. Money talks, bullshit walks. Hang back, boys. Motherfucker needs a doctor. Just dump him in an alley. Let nature take its course. Ho, 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 ho. Go on. How nice. Hi, you, Neville. Where you at, I'll see. All right. I gotta go make the arrangements. Give them your name and such. You go on and get changed. Who you got with you tonight, Elsie? Two Dicks Johnson. Aw, oh, someone already used the name Two Dicks? What a bunch of bullshit. Who would have thunk it? So what happens if we get caught? Probably what you think. <sighs> For a chance to go home again, it's worth it. 
No matter what happens, we should go. Alright, damn, he looks fucking badass now. He's finally out of that army jacket. You can see how fucking buff he is. This is it. You nervous? Should I be? Guess that depends on where all this is. You're gonna head through these doors and they announce your name. Then make your way to your corner. Where are you going? Oh, I'll meet you there. This part of the show is all about you. They love showing off their fighting niggas. Through here. And the jungle fights continue, boys! The, the jungle fights! Face, Nick Boom Boom Beaumont comes in at over six feet tall, weighing approximately 220 pounds. This is Jack Knife Johnson! Yeah. Let's do this. Just had to start something. Oh, what the fuck? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, my God. Oh. That was half my size, though. Worth the crowd. Let me hear. Let me hear. Our next fighter hails from Bobby Mills. You'll know him as Bobby Lidu, the beautiful. Oh yeah, he's beautiful. He's a right old teddy bear. Look at him. Boom Boom was a paperback compared to the brawl. You gotta keep moving and don't let him get you in the corner. Stay out of the corner. Got it. Was that about the corner? Fuck them all. I'll take a shit on him. Look at Afro. <laughs> you know why they call him Grave Digger. Because he buries motherfuckers? Well, yeah. So how do I beat him? You hit him really, really hard. Okay. So much for Grave Digger. He headbutts the shit out of everyone. Easy peasy. Owned. Yeah, you love this, don't you? So easy. All right, we're gonna meet Tommy now. All right, that's it, kid. Let's go. What happens now? You head on back to the locker room and collect your winnings. Where are you heading? Me? I got business to attend to. He's gonna squeal. He's gonna fucking squeal. Double cross. Watch. You really know how to brawl. Uh, my respect. That's for fucking sure. You must think I'm some kind of goddamn moron coming in here like you did. <laughs> I've never been one to shy away from a calculated risk. Maybe you should have. Yep, I knew he was gonna get set up. What a dumbass. I'll mix some vegetable oil in. Makes the gasoline thick. Sticky. Let me just 
gonna let it soak in a little bit. Work his way into every nook and cranny. That way, when I light it, that shit's gonna burn like napalm. Oh boy, how's he gonna get out of this one?